You know, we don't have but one life here on this earth. We've got one chance, one opportunity to do it right. Christ sends out his preachers all over the nation, all over the world. He sends the men of God out to tell the truth. Very few people have time for Christ. Very few people have time for the truth. Very few people want to take time to learn about Jesus. They're too busy about their own personal lives. But one day, they're, they're not going to be too busy to die. Death, the Bible teaches us in Hebrews 9.27, it's appointed once for man to die, and after that, the judgment. We're going to be, all of us are going to die, all of us. And I was telling my wife and my daughter and her husband yesterday, I didn't have anything prepared for today. I, I've been so busy that I've just been praying and just asking God. I said, God, you're going to have to give me the words to say. You have to give me the message, which I always let him give me the message. I have always trusted God. But this morning it was so unusual the way he gave me this one, Brother Thomas. He, he told me to go to Matthew, and I went to Matthew, and first of all I started, at, I started at chapter 8 and just started reading. But nothing hit home. When I got to chapter 16, verse 6, if you have your Bible, turn to Matthew sixteen six. Then Jesus said unto them, Take heed. And beware of the leaven of the Pharisees and of the Sadducees. Take heed of the leaven of the Pharisees and the Sadducees. And the disciples, like so many people today, it says, And they reasoned among themselves, saying, It is because we have taken no bread. You see, they had gotten in the ship and they were going over to the other side and they didn't bring any bread with them. Now, leaven, if you know anything about leaven... When you put a little leaven in a big lump of dough or bread, it starts multiplying. It starts growing, and it starts making it bigger and bigger. And it spreads. And Jesus said, beware of the leaven of the scribes and the Pharisees, or the Pharisees and the Sadducees. And they reasoned among themselves. And in verse 8 it says, which when Jesus perceived... Because he knew they were thinking and talking and discussing among themselves. He said, O ye of little faith. Now, how many times throughout the Scriptures do we find that? Jesus looking upon his disciples and looking upon the children and saying, O ye of little faith. You see, many people look through natural eyes to read the Scriptures. And if you look through natural eyes, you cannot see the truth. You've got to look through spiritual eyes and let God reveal the truth to you. He said, Oh, ye little faith, why reason ye among yourselves because ye have brought no bread? Do ye not yet understand, neither remember, the five loaves and the five thousand and how many baskets ye took up? Neither the seven loaves and the four thousand and how many baskets ye took up? Jesus is trying to tell them, I have enough bread. I, can, I am the bread of life. I can feed all, and I can multiply and make it grow. But I, what I want to under, would you to understand is, how is it that you do not understand that I speak it not to you concerning bread, that you should beware of the leaven of the Pharisees and of the Sadducees? Then understood they, uh, understood they how that he bade them not beware of the leaven of the bread, but of the doctrine of the Pharisees and the Sadducees. And as God gave me this this morning, I'm going to try to share it, not necessarily as much with the congregation, because I know y'all get battered with it every day. But I want to try to share it with those joining by television. To beware of the leaven of the Pharisees and the Sadducees. You see, as I mentioned earlier, leaven makes things grow. It makes the dough grow and multiply. And the doctrine that's in this nation today is Jesus called it leather, leaven. He said, beware not of the leaven. And, and what I'm trying to talk to the congregation and all those joining my television 
is you better be careful about listening to the pastors and preachers today. There's some leaven out there. It's called the, the, the doctrine of prosperity, the doctrine of signs and wonders and miracles. Many people today have heard of the doctrine of prosperity. Go to Mark 16, 15 through 18. Many of you joining by television need to listen and take heed to what I'm saying. He says, go ye into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. The gospel. And I know that if you've been watching me for the last few weeks, you keep hearing this message. But God has called me to this station. He's called me to this channel. The TV station that you're watching, the channel you're watching, the program you're watching. He's called me and put me there for a reason. He says, beware of the leaven of the Pharisees and the Sadducees. There's a message out there today. Somebody has crammed in a little bit of leaven into the gospel of Jesus Christ. And if that leaven is growing and it's multiplying, why? Because preacher after preacher after preacher is hearing that if I get up and preach prosperity, people are going to send me money and I'm going to get my pocketbook full and I'm going to become wealthy and I can have what I want. And that's all they're doing. They're feeding off the congregation. They're feeding off the widows. They're feeding off the poor people. They're feeding off the country because they've heard it. And that leaven is growing and growing. But another preacher says, you know, they ain't no sense of me going out and work 40 hours a week. I'm going to become a preacher. I'm going to go to college and learn how to get that money. Then here comes another preacher. Well, I heard him preaching. I see him filling his pockets up, driving all these fancy cars, living in all, all these fancy homes and stuff. I'm going to go do the same thing. And you see the leaven is growing and growing and growing, but it's not of God. He said go preach the gospel. They don't preach the blood of Jesus. They don't preach repentance. They don't preach that you must be born again. All they preach is money, 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 money. And that leaven, God is saying, beware of the leaven, leaven of the scribes, the Pharisees, or the Pharisees and the Sadducees. That leaven is growing in this nation. The United States has gone crazy over these sermons. And the feel-good sermons, you feel-good preachers. All you know how to do is to get up there. You won't preach about hell. You won't preach about the blood of Jesus. You don't preach that you have to repent and turn from the sinful, evil, wicked ways of the world. All you preach is feel good. You say, I don't want to preach that mess. I want to preach feel good so that I can fill my congregation up and they'll put a lot of money in the plate. Because if they're feeling good, and if I can just tickle their ears, if I can just tickle their ears and make them feel good, they'll put a lot more money in the plate. And they'll come to the church because they don't want their toes walked on. That leaven is out there. And thousands upon thousands of you are flocking to it. But you better get back to the basics of the old-timey gospel. You must be born again. You have to have Jesus in your heart or else you're going to hell. There's no other way. He says, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. God, Jehovah, is in heaven. And you can't get to heaven. You can't get to God unless you come by Jesus Christ. And that's why God has sent me to talk to you. I'm here today to talk to those of you joining my television to warn you. Because when you stand before God, you can't say, well, I didn't know. Because now you know. You know that you have to be born again. And you know, the theme of our program is Jesus is the answer. Because a lot of you, you hear that jingle and that jingle will stay in your head. Jesus is the answer, the answer around the world. And sometime during the, the next future, or in the future, the next month or so, you're going to hear that jingle come on. And you're going to say, oh, that's that old crazy preacher from North Carolina. I'm going to turn it off. And you can turn it off, but you've already heard that Jesus is the answer. You've already heard the message. So you see, whether you listen to me or not, you've already heard the message. Jesus is the answer. The answer around the world. And he sent me here to warn you and to tell you that you have to be born again. Now, the next thing I want to talk to is the congregations. I want to talk to all you congregations that are sitting under these pastors, that are sitting under the prosperity preachers, that are sitting under the feel-good preachers. I want to say one thing. Quit dropping your money in the basket. Take away their salaries and see how long they stand there and preach to you. Take away their income and see how long they'll stand there, stay at that.